Hello, hello. Uh, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is how to not get played by women. But before I get into this topic, um, you know, I want to let you guys know, like I always do, this channel is all about you guys, both men and women being the best you could be in all aspects of your life. I know we talk about a lot of dating relationships here, um, but it's also um, all about health, wealth, and mindset. I want you guys to be the best versions, the most complete people you can. I appreciate you guys being here. <sighs> we got that out of the way. I know we got some new people. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been here for a while. Welcome. For both of you guys, or people who have not done so, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. I appreciate that. And if you just want to support me, if you like my videos, hit the like button. You know, it does help the channel, and I appreciate it. So let us get back to the topic at hand. How to not get played by women. Again, another very popular topic because a lot of guys who, who get played by women, they they blame the woman, you know, and they don't uh, really look at the signs that looked up to them getting played, whether it's getting flaked on, you know, they get the number, but the girl never wants to meet up, or, you know, um, maybe she cheats, or, you know, that's further down the line, if you're really not able to tell, but just getting played, getting dog disrespecting, whatever you want to call it, there's always things that you should have seen ahead of time. And here we go. I'll tell you things you should have been looking out for. Should, things you should have done. Plus a bonus at the end. Can't forget about that bonus at the end. Very crucial. To help you not get played. And things that you could have done that would have stopped you from getting played. First thing. Get rid of women with red flags early. That is crucial. You see a girl who may be a little bit um, manipulative or a liar. Or maybe she's a little tardy. Maybe you've known her for a while and she's tardy to your friend dates or to, to, to the job or to church. She's just tardy all the time. It's probably not somebody you want to get in a relationship with or even deal with romantically. You know what I mean? Because um, that won't get better with time, especially if she's done it all her life. Maybe she, again, she's a liar. You know, maybe she, you were at the bar with her, you know, you say you got money. She said, no, I don't got no money. Then you look at it and you kind of see it. She's opened up her wallet. She got some money. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's little things like that. Red flags. Because they're not going to get better. And I get it. It's like, hey, she doesn't know you. But you want a woman that at least has a, a decent moral standing. You know what I mean? And, and, and at least a decent person where even if she, you know, you know, when you get to that, she has some red flags. And this leads me to the second thing you got to be looking for. Even if she has some red flags. Give women who are manageable the one strike rule. She has red flags. She's manageable. It's not too bad. Maybe she's just a little shy. Maybe she's, you know, getting to you know you, getting a little bit more comfortable with you. So she's not necessarily... Um, as submissive enough maybe where maybe she won't you know help you with your job or help you with things around the house but she'll follow your lead you want of course initially you want to be able to keep it casual and more sexual before you look for her to do anything for you outside of the extra maybe getting into a relationship unless if she's that person she just really likes to give cool but other than that keep it casual keep it to sex keep it just very easy you know what i mean but if she is showing that she may be um, difficult or maybe she um, she flakes, but she see, you could tell she's manageable, one strike. Let her do it one time. She does that second time, she's gone. You know, if she's a manageable woman, you know, um, because, again, there are some women who are who, who have a higher uh, quality or they're better for you. They're more submissive. They follow you. They're, obviously, they're attractive. They're cool. But they just got one or two things that they need to work on, you know. And as long as they're manageable, they're open to, to change. One strike rule, you know. If they fall, if they fail that strike, that, that rule, let them go. So third thing you got to be looking out for. 
and arguably the most important thing, um, you have to go off a, a woman's actions, not her words. If a woman says she loves you, but she's constantly uh, talking bad about you, hitting on you, lying to you. <laughs> and whether you know her or you're not, or you fresh met her or not, <laughs> she lied to you. Yeah, probably not a good woman to to deal with long term. You know what I mean, or even get started in that in that direction with you know what I mean. So uh, you gotta always go for a, a woman's actions, not her words. You know, maybe hey, she says she really likes you. She you know when you first meet her at a bar or wherever, seems like you're cool. She seems interested, but then her friends are so easily able to take her away from you. That's a huge red flag. Tells you she's not a leader and she cares more about her friends than she does you. You don't want to deal with that. That's that. There'll be major problems in the future. You know what I mean? And she she might say, "Oh man, you're so hot. Oh man, I want to be able to do this with you. Want to do it with that." But then the second her friends come, she's gone. Don't do it. You know what I mean? And I get it. You just met her, but you want women who at least make it easy for you. And if she's not making it easy, you got to let her go. So. If you're still watching, I appreciate it first and foremost. Thank you. Um, but yes, uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you will be notified for whenever I upload some more videos. Thank you, and I appreciate it again. So <laughs> let's get into the fourth, fourth thing here. And that is, <sighs> you have to be willing to walk away slash have an abundance mindset because having the uh, an abundance mindset will make you more willing to walk away if you know th this woman has all these issues or she's got some red flags that you got to kick her out the, to the curb put her back in the streets and yeah, i mean you got to walk away having an abundance mindset will make you realize hey there are going to be other women for me who are better for me. This one is not it. It's cool. I wish her nothing but the best, you know, in life, you know, no hard feelings. It just, we just didn't work out. That's just what it is. We just didn't work out. But I got to find a woman or women who are better for me. You know, again, no hard feelings, but you just not for me. We do our separate things and, uh, you know, I wish you the best of fortune. But you just have to be willing to walk away on top of having that abundance mindset. Because that's the only way you'll do it. Sure, disrespect enough will have you walking away. And that's a form of uh, an having an abundance mindset. But you want it to be more amicable and be more peaceful. And when you see the red flags, you know, yeah, you're not for me. You know, I, I know I'll be able to have other women. So I got to go get those other women. Peace. You know, and walk away. Keep it easy for yourself, you know. That's the list here. Uh, those four things that you got to look out for. So that way you will not get played by women. But I did have a bonus and I have a bonus right here. Very important. Very, 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 very important. Not only for the beginning, but throughout the re relationship you get with, with women. You have to have rules. When it comes to the women you deal with, having rules are very important. That will give you a bench on where you got to go, a benchmark where how this woman has to be, how she has to treat you, things she you're looking for, you know, rules and standards slash standards, rules slash standards. You have to have that so you know how what you will and will not put up with. How a woman will or will not treat you, um, how she will or will not look. All these things are important. You have to have rules slash standards slash benchmark. Bare minimums. You know, so whoo, that is my list. That is plus the bonus. Very important. Very important things. So that way you will not be the guy who complains about women. Who, who 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 played him or hating on women that's the reason i made this video for you guys who hate on women 
who complain about getting played by women and think it was only the woman's fault. It is always you. You are the leader. You are the one who has the dick. You are the man. You are a strong man. You have to be able to see women who will potentially play you and weed them out. Women's job is to do what they can to get the most out of you. It's your job to not be taken advantage of and not get played. So that's all I got for y'all here today. Let me know uh, if you agree, disagree with my list. Let me know if you think I could have added something that would have made the list even better. Um, <clears throat> hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. Again, this channel is for you guys. It's not just staying in relationships, also health, wealth, and mindset as well. Um, of course, uh, if you find value in this video, donate. I appreciate any little bit of donations. They're all very, very welcome. And of course, um, I want to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe. Be well. Apply what you, you, you're watching in these videos. Get you some awesome results. And of course, always remember the strongest man is the happiest man.